Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined here by Stevenson football coach Ed Hoddle. And coach, you played Albright on Saturday for homecoming, another typical down-of-the-wire game against uh, Albright. Just take us through that game, especially the fourth quarter. Yeah, it's it's always a battle with Albright. You know, they um, I think, you know, you go back the last four or five games with them, it's been a last possession game. And I think we talked about that last week. And, and you know, we kind of talked to our guys and, and mentally prepared for it to be that way. And, you know, we having a 10-point lead late, and then, you know, they cut do a nice job, cut it to three. And, um, you know, defense stepped up big at the end with the interception. So it, it was big for our program to be able to, you know, we were down in the fourth quarter to come back and then be able to preserve the lead. I think it was big for a young football team to be able to do that. Yeah, kind of a little strange game. Obviously, you start off scoring safety in the second quarter, and then, you know, they, they got a touchdown, you got a field goal. It's 10 to 5 at half, not a score you normally see. And then in the third quarter, with scoring touchdowns, you know, both coaching staffs are already going to their card and going for two and things like that. So it was a little bit of a weird game flow, but, um, you know, you guys seem to adapt well to that. Like you said, came back in the fourth quarter and they'll get the win. Yeah, it's it's interesting. You know, you talk about going to the card, and there were a couple of times I'm on the headset with Coach Nelson upstairs saying, "Hey, you know, what are we doing here?" As far as you know, what does the chart tell you to do? Um, everybody's got a chart; they're all a little bit different, um, and you can always second guess those those kinds of decisions. And you know, we convert the two point conversion, and then we have the holding penalty on the two point conversion. Then we have to kick a 25 yard extra point, and thankfully Ian was uh, was sharp there. And you know, we left some points on the board. You know, we had the field goal blocked early in the half, and I think we were in position to, to get another safety a little bit later on in the game. So it was an odd score at, po at points during the game and, and definitely having to go to the card. And I think both staffs did a good job of knowing situations and understanding what needed to happen from a points perspective. Yeah. Um, you talked defensively, also special teams. I mean, I think Wade Corbin really stepped up with his punt. You know, he had one punt where he pinned them on the one. Um, you know, 61 yard punt. He had five yards, average 44 a punt. Um, you know, so not just defense, but some special teams work as well. Absolutely. He did an outstanding job. And, you know, ha having a lacrosse player who's now a football player is, is probably a pretty unique story. And, and what he's been able to do throughout the course of the season and improving his game and, and understanding what we need from him has been very exciting to watch. And he went out in, in several big spots and completely flipped the field for us. And, you know, we talk all the time with the guys about the importance of field position and, and, and putting ourselves in positions where we can score and don't have to drive 80 or 90 yards to do so. And, um, you know, Wade did an outstanding job of setting us up defensively, um, which took a little bit of the pressure off early in the game while we were working to figure things out, X's and O's on the offensive side. Yeah, and defensively, a couple guys, Ashton Lashley, obviously, uh, Conference Defensive Player of the Week, had a couple big, you know, he had a forced fumble, a couple sacks, and then uh, Brian Latham with the interception late. Yeah, you know, Ashton, you know, he's a rock star. You know, he's a, he's a, you know, he's a three, five plus student here. Um, just do, does a great job in everything that he does. And, you know, to see him excel on Saturdays is, you know, is very rewarding because he's the kind of guy that we want to have here. You know, somebody that takes the classroom seriously, somebody that, you know, is, is just a good, good, good football player. So to watch him excel was exciting. And, and Brian making the play at the end was, was huge. You know, he, um, you know, he, he's had a rough couple of weeks. He's, you know, and, and we kind of challenged him, you know, a week or 10 days ago, you know, to be a better player, to be the player that we think he can be. And he responded in a big way, which is which is what you want your guys to do is rise to that type of challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, they're moving the ball a little bit. He was able to come up with the interception. Um, shifting gears a little bit this week, you're home again against Widener, another good team, um, you know, right in the thick of the – you know, the conference race, along with you guys and a couple other teams, um, you know, also a very good defensive team. Uh, you know, what do you have to bring to the table on Saturday to beat them? We have to protect the football. Um, you know, they have six defensive touchdowns on the year. Um, I believe they're the number one defense in the conference. I think they're in the top five nationally. So, you know, we've got to take care of the football. We've got to execute our offensive game plan um, and be efficient with what we do. No, no pre-snap penalties. Don't get behind the sticks and, and, and do what we do. And if we're able to do that, you know, I, th I think we'll be in the ball game defensively. I think we've got our hands full. They do some pretty, you know, interesting things as far as their offensive schemes go, some things that we've not seen yet this year. So, you know, we've got to be sound in, in both phases and obviously Obviously, you know, have to, you know, we want to look at the kicking game to develop some explosive type plays. And I think if, if we're able to stick with our game plan, I, I, I think we should, you know, we should be okay. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Coach. Um, we'll see you here on Saturday. For Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. And this has been the Ed Hoddle Show.